Hello and welcome to Dearest Time Grandma Mimsy and I have bare nails because I'm sharing things that I have recently acquired and I received this when I was doing the most recent first live that I did um, at the beginning of the week and uh, I was doing that because normally Maniology does a live unboxing for the 23rd 24th, 25th, however the date lands for the unboxing of the newest theme for the monthly subscription box. And this month, yet again, it was a pre-recorded video. So uh, they have been seem to be doing that more often. And uh, I, did the, I did do the live, uh, I did do a poll, I asked if that was um, something people would be interested in. Uh, several people said yes, so I went, okay, fine, let's see who shows up, and a few people showed up, and so that live is available. It took me a while to figure out the recording of things, but it is there, and um, I was asked to do it again, so I will, and I'm going to see if I can do make it become a weekly thing that we uh, figure out a time that would be great for everybody to kind of show up, and if, if it's not, it'll be available for a, a replay, uh, but I will continue to do the live on the 23rd, 24th, 25th dates when um, Maniolo Maniology releases the new theme and the unboxing for the next month's theme. If it's a pre-recorded video, I will continue to do a live afterwards. So after we've had a chance to watch the video and see uh, what is what everything that is coming in the box because on the 20th of the month we get an email and a picture looks way different than what they do in the, the unboxing and even then sometimes it looks way different when I actually get it to me and mine will be here very very, very soon so um uh if it's a pre-recorded video I will continue to following the the time of it, it takes for that one to be released which is normally at 4.30, no, excuse me, normally at 1.30 Hawaii Standard Time. Uh, I am on uh, Pacific Daylight Time, so that's about 4.30 for me. So their videos are usually about an hour, so it'll probably be around 5.15, 5.30 that I log on. That way when people are done watching the video, if, if they so choose, they can pop on over and we can all chat about whatever you want to chat about. Um, but I received this from uh, an order on Amazon, and I'm not sure that I'm going to keep getting it. We'll kind of go through the bottle and see how things go. Um, and in one of my uh, comments to a question that somebody asked, um, I did suggest uh, the use of Sally Hansen, and somebody else came back and said, please don't use because they're still testing on animals. I I'm on the fence on that and it's not because I'm against testing on animals um, to some degree I don't necessarily think it's the best idea I understand to some degree why we have to for the most part but um, yeah it, in the cosmetic industry it, it's kind of difficult I don't want harm to the animals but at the same time I don't want harm to people so <clears throat> I'm not sure how to answer that. That's that. I guess that has to be a personal decision. So uh, I did try this, and I'm not a huge fan of this version of Sally Hansen. Some of their other products, sure, but this is it, it is name is Repair and Rescue, and says it is a super strength defense. Um, I use other things by both uh, Sally Hansen, Maniology, and other companies. And this one, to me, um, well, I'm gonna say for the most part, I like nail polish to feel like nail polish. I, I don't mind getting like the acrylics or the gel. I've done that in the past, but I'm not in a situation where I can do those. I can't go get those done. I'm not a nail tech. I kind of sort of can do it to myself, but I'd rather not because to me, in my opinion, it's very damaging to your nails. At least it is for mine because they're very thin and um, unless you're going to keep up with it, taking it off is not a great process. So that's not something I have the, the time or the energy or the money um, 
or the effort or the want to be able to keep up on. So I just use regular nail polish and other things between um, cosmetics and food and the stuff that I, I do to make my nails stronger and they are getting stronger. Um, and there's a lot of reasons why they're, aside from genetics, there's other things going on of what, what makes them less strong. And um, we're working on all that. But this feels like the, and, and I mean no negativities to anybody, anybody's company out there, um, not to Maniology or any other company, if you use a, a polish that in its name is called a gel or a jelly, I have not found that I like those because the, the, the polish, the ingredients takes on a like jello consistency. It's kind of goopy and messy and while you're wearing it to me, it doesn't feel like it actually hardens like a nail polish should. It stays like the jelly stampers. It stays like the jelly shoes. It stays in that semi-soft position. And to me, it just, it not a fan. And that's what this does. Um, when I originally used it, I did not like it. It took a long time to dry. I gave it a chance. I came back and used it and had used it to try to preserve the nails that I broke. Oh yeah, I broke nails again. Um, I saved them. I, this time I was able to, and I was trying to keep them from breaking with the things that I'm able to do, and this didn't help. The other stuff that I have had, this one has been chipped right here at the edge where it tore for almost two weeks, and the other stuff I used kept it from breaking for two weeks. Um, I switched over to use this, um, and these two both broke like on the same day while I was trying to fix them. So it, again, I p was p putting a lot of this on, I don't know if you can tell, but I was, I was putting it on and trying to let it dry and then it's like, okay, it seems like it is, but then I don't know. So I added a lot more and it took a lot and then it seemed like it just never really got hard and it took like a day to actually get to the point where it it felt stiff enough that I wasn't going to break anything but at the same time I was like having to make sure that I wasn't you know having anything go near the nail that was going to rip it off because it really didn't seem to whereas the other stuff I used got hard in like 30 minutes and was really stiff. So I'm like, okay, let me take everything off. And in the process of doing that, they went bye-bye. So I'm gonna play around with some other things to see if I can put the nail back. So if you suddenly see me with nails, it is my natural nail. I figured out how to adhere back to my, and if not, we'll just trim them down again and start over because um, the last time I broke a nail was a month ago, and this is what I've got in a month. Don't grow back. I'm disappointed, a little heartbroken, but it's not the end of the world. They'll grow back. Um, and we'll just continue on with the shorties, because I know a lot of people have short nails, and eventually we'll have long nails again. And I have the, what do you call it, um... I have these. If all this fails, people want something to done to be to to be done in a tutorial to explain for a long nail art project. I I can you know I I got both. I can do it. I have really tiny nails, and like I was showing people, let me grab my gizmo. Did I leave it over here? I'm still trying to rearrange. You know, you go through and you go, okay, let me group this together. Let me group, okay, wait, those don't fit. Let me. Yeah, it's taking me a lot longer than I thought or was hoping to do, but where did I put my, right here in front of my face. Um, this is, I'm going to go over really quick. This is the, um, you can get at Maniology. It is the cleanup brush and it's one end. It's just pretty. It's a very nice sturdy brush. I like it. They have another brush like this. It is exactly the same. 
it is, has the white crystals and the white base, but it looks like this, and it is a dual end. The reason these are blue is because I think this one, I know it came in one of the specialty boxes. It was the exclusive item. You had to buy the box to get it, and I don't remember if it was the Halloween or the the box of joy if it was the box of magic or the box of joy but it was last year's specialty boxes so it is the cleanup brush on the one end but it is more of an angle whereas this one is straight and you can buy this one that looks like this so the only difference is the the color of the outer parts and the inside crystals but you can buy this and this is the duo end and it has the stamper. And if you look at that stamper, and I broke a nail, so I literally have, if I were to take an image that fits on this stamper, which is a teeny tiny stamper, that's how big my nail is, without nails, while they're short. I have little hands. So if I can do nails, and I can do nail art, and you have all seen the things I've been able to do, and even though on film it looks like it's much bigger, no, I got little hands. I have little tiny sausage fingers, which is why I have nails, because look at that versus that. You see? This is why I grow my nails. Anyway, if you've tried this and you like it and and you have no problems with it, more for you. Um, I don't know how well it will work, but you know, I kind of have the same issues with my toes that I do with my hands, but I don't necessarily spend that much time on my toes because I kind of can't get to my toes because the bender's broke. Um, the, it's the, the bending over parts that need to be able to bend, but we're working on being able to figure that out and getting some options to be able to assist with that because, hello, I may not sound like an old lady, but I am an old lady. So there are things out there that can help me figure out how to better do the, the pedicure on my feet. I'll be happy to get those things. And then, you know, we'll, we'll use this for the toes. And that'll be a really good test if it works. The only thing is that I noticed is that it felt weird. And I don't know how to describe, but I do have some strange sensitivities to things. We won't go into the weird list of stuff I can't use. But um, it, it kind of felt like a tingly burning sense. I mean, not an, not bad enough that it was like, okay, let me get the nail polish remover and take this off, but it just had a weird sensation to it. So be aware. I don't know what's in it, but there you go. Like I got a polish. It's got argon oil. It was not in the description of the name. And after I figured out that it had that in it, I went back to it and it's, you have to go deep dive into details. And the only reason I figured that out is because it's a new line of polish. So I went searching for that um, because I saw one of the colors, other colors in the line. And when you're shopping on Amazon, if you've purchased something that is similar in comparison to the company, you know, like, so say for example, I had just bought that. It was in my order and on its way to be shipped to me. So next thing I know, I'm looking at a color. Oh, hey, that's cute. Let me go double check. As I click on it, it goes, oh, yeah, you bought another thing like this. I did. Really? Let me go check on that. Or, oh, crud. In the other polish, it said in the description, in the title of the name, the brand, the color, the whole nine yards, it said it had argon oil. This one did not because I double checked. It still does not. And I would not have bought it. So... I don't know, but we'll find out. It's a pretty color, but I don't know. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you following. Um, a lot of these are going to look the same because, yeah, I'm going to hear. I'm recording and setting these uh, available for you to be able to watch in your own time frame. But it does take me a little bit of a while. Sometimes YouTube uploads really quickly and it's done in a few minutes and other times it takes hours or days. It's the weirdest thing. So you'll get to see these as soon as, as fast as they can upload to the YouTube server. So yes, um, if you like it, more for you. I don't know that I like it. I'm still on the fence with it. And there you go. Like I am on the fence with other things. And then 
on other things I have complete and definitive de decisions and, and opinions and I will share those with you good bad ugly warts and all either way thank you for watching following please be kind the world needs more love and there are those who are part of the misery loves company club and if that's you then you have my empathy and understanding come on over this way if you know people that, that are part of the club and they might not know they're in the club they need empathy and caring and understanding to get them out of the club because we don't want people to be miserable because that doesn't solve anything so be grateful I, I, I know this is to some degree was something I heard for a lot of years and um yeah I'd be like yeah really what do I have to be grateful for why are you so happy and cheerful and I've kind of come to the point of understanding having gratitude for what you have because when you've gone through pl things that where you may not have a place to live you may not have food to eat and because of going through those things coming out on the other side I've went you know I do have things to be grateful for so even though you might not feel like the circumstances in your life and your life is the way you want them the way you solve that is by being grateful and that is kind of I know the strangest thing to say but you get to live in the place you live in you get to go to the job you hate some people would love to have because they don't have those things would love to have what you are miserable in that you don't seem to think that it's great you need to be grateful for so I'm probably doing a very bad job of explaining this but you can always find things to be grateful for and even if you are feeling like you are just having the worst you know I, I was following someone she calls it a another name for it but I'm gonna call it a poop sandwich day um, because we're gonna be respectful of other people who might not like having the other word said I don't mind it doesn't bother me but I'm trying to be respectful of everybody's feelings on that um, and she says but even if you're having one of those days you still woke up and there's a lot of people who didn't wake up there's that cliche any day above ground is a good day so be thankful for that anyway for those who are in the misery loves company club do your best I know we can't save everybody I know we can't pull everybody out of being in misery because that's kind of their own thing but maybe something you can say or do will make their day and then they will decide not to be miserable maybe you could share with this video because you know sharing is caring and they can hear it for themselves and then they can go oh I see why now other than that I appreciate my subscribers and followers and all the people who are supporting me in this crazy wacky journey please be kind because the world needs kindness kindness and details matter have a wonderful day I'll see you soon bye